Hello, good morning everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm teacher Ami Gire from San Luis Batanga. So our lesson for this week is about algebraic expressions and addition and subtraction of polynomials. In our learning task number one, we need to write the mathematical symbol or operation based from the given mathematical term. So in a sum, write the mathematical symbol of sum increased by difference, decreased by less than product quotient times divided by and more than. So symbols used for operations are called operation, operational symbols, while used to determine relation between quantities are called relational symbols. So these are some uh, operational symbols and words associated na pwede natin gamitin sa symbols na given. The plus sign. So we can use the word plus, add, increase by more than or sum of. Minus sign, we can use the word or uh, the word associated na pwede natin gamitin minus, subtract from, decrease by, diminish, or difference, or differ. Then if the, uh, in operation, operational symbol for the multiplication sign, Pwede siyang X, pwede parentheses, or dot na dark. At ang uh, appropriate word or associated word to symbols are the following. Multiply, multiplied by the product of times. So no symbol between variables means multiplication. Another operational symbols, the division sign, which is the, divide, uh, the division symbol slash or bar so the word related to the symbols that we will use is divide quotient or ratio and another operational symbol is the involution or exponents so raised to the power of squared cube etc and another operational symbols that we use evolution which is the radical sign the nth root where n is any positive integer. So these are some examples that ma, na pwede natin gamitin to answer our learning task number one. Now examples translate the following to mathematical symbols. So if the given is twice the sum of five and a number, a number can represent any letter from the English alphabet. So in this example, let us consider that let m be the number. So the sum of 5 and a number is 5 plus m. The word thrice means 3 times. So therefore, the mathematical phrase is 3 times the quantity 5 plus m. So ito yung mathematical symbol na given naman ay ma um, verbal phrase. Next, another example, subtract two-thirds of the number from 30. So we use the word from 30, so mag straight tayo sa 30 minus two-thirds of a number. So let us represent first the number. Pwede gamitin natin na ang nagre-represent the number is x. Let x be the number. So two-thirds of the number, the word of means multiply. So two-thirds times x or two-third of x. Then, therefore, the mathematical phrase is 30 minus two-third of x. Yan kung paano natin naman siya isusulat into mathematical symbol. Another example, one-half of the square root of twice the square of the number. So it means let y be the number, twice the square of a number of the number is 2y squared. And square root of 2y squared is equal to square root of 2y squared. Therefore, the mathematical phrase is square root of 2y squared over 2. Or 1 half square root, nasa gitna siya, of 2y squared. 
So I hope clear yung one to three examples ng uh, translation ng verbal phrase to, mathem uh, to sim mathematical symbol. Now, the given is the verbal phrase. Uh, to verbal phrase, the given is the mathematical symbol and translate to verbal phrase. So, to translate to x minus 5, so pwedeng 2x means twice a number, then the possible verbal phrase is twice a number, decrease by 5 or subtract 5 from twice a number. So, pwede rin twice a number minus 5. Pwede din iyon ang ating verbal phrase in example number 4. Now, algebraic expression can be a number, a single variable, or a combination of letters, numbers, and operational symbols. So, examples, 3m, negative 5x, 3y, 7xy, are algebraic expression with one term. 4x squared minus 8x, xy, and xy plus 5 are algebraic expression with two terms. Ito yung one first term at ito ang second term. Ito ang first term, ito ang second term. So we have two terms. So na separate siya into plus or minus. Malalaman natin kung ilan ang number of terms kapag may plus and minus siyang kasama. So terms in algebraic expression are as separated by the plus or minus signs. When the operation between variables or variable and number is multiplication or division, like 24x over av, it is considered as one term only. 4xyz means 4 times x times y times z is still a single term algebraic expression. So as is as since the operations involved are multiplication and division. So tandaan, plus and minus sign lang nagsaseparate to determine the number of terms we have in the given algebraic expressions. Complete the table. Okay, let us de determine the constant and variable. Pag sinabi natin constant, wala siyang number lang siya. Wala siyang kasamang uh, variables or letters. Variables, ano yung mga variables na given sa expression? So, in number 1, negative y plus 2xz, so ang constant natin, 0. Wala siyang constant. Ang variable natin, we have xyz. Next, number 2, 5 minus 4yz plus 9xy. So, ang constant natin dyan ay 5. At ang ating variables ay x, y, z. Number 3, so 15x cube y minus 13x squared y squared plus 12x y cube. Ang ating constant ay 0. Wala tayong number na single. Then, ang ating variable ay x, y. Then, in number 4, 32x squared plus 40y squared constant 0. And, of course, x, y, i, variable. Then, for number 5, 4a squared b minus 5b squared c. So, ang constant natin ay 0. Then, ang variable natin ay b, a, b, c. So, I hope clear the constant and the variable. Algebraic expressions are named according to the number of terms. Monomial is an algebraic expression with one term. Binomial is an algebraic expression with two terms. Trinomial is an algebraic expression with three terms. And multi multinomial or polynomial is an algebraic expression with more than three terms. Determine the number of terms. This is an example. So observe we have wala tayong plus and minus sa nakasunod understood one term siya. Number two, meron siyang isang uh, minus sign. If we count the number of terms, one, two, so we have two terms. And number three, so division siya 
as we read before, it is considered as one term. Number four, let us count one, two, three, four. So we have four terms in number four. And number five, one, two, three, we have three terms. Classify the following as monomial, binomial, or trinomial. Number one, we have only one term, therefore it is a monomial. Number two, given x cubed minus 5xy, so we have two terms and it is binomial. Number three, 18x, we have only one term and that is monomial. And number four, we have one, two, three, it means it is trinomial. And number five, again, one, two, three, it is trinomial. So I hope clear to determine uh, the number of terms and classify if it is monomial, binomial, or trinomial. The degree of algebraic expression is the highest exponent of an expression with one variable or the highest sum of the exponents of the variables in terms of the expressions. The constant of the algebraic expression is the number and with fixed value and a variable is a letter which represents a number. And of course, the example 5x. So 5 is considered as numerical coefficient and x is literal coefficient. The de determine the degree of polynomials, 7x squared. So ang exponent ng x squared ay 2. So the degree of the polynomial, isa lang siyang term ay 2. Kung anong exponent, highest exponent should be the degree of polynomials. Number 2 x cubed minus 5x squared y. Ang exponent ng unang term ay 3. Ang sum ng exponent ng dalawang variable ng x and y, 2 plus 1 ay 3. Therefore, the highest degree is 3. So, the degree of polynomials of the expression in number, number 2 is 3. Number 3. 18, wala tayong variable dito, so no degree of polynomial, zero. Number four, we have 2x squared minus 4xy cubed plus x cubed plus 9. First term, ang exponent ay 2. Second term, 1 at saka 3, 1 plus 3 ay 4. Ang third term, ang exponent ay 3. Therefore, 3, 4, 3, the highest exponent is 4. Therefore, the degree of polynomial of algebraic expression number 4 is 4. I hope clear po iyan. Ito yung mga sample para mas clear po to identify and determine the degree of polynomials. Number 5, x cubed minus 5 x to the negative 2 plus 3. The first term exponent is 3. The second term is negative 2. So, the highest degree of polynomial is 3. So, I hope maliwanag po ang mga examples to determine the degree of polynomials. Example, 5x to the 4th minus 3x plus 12, the expression is trinomial. The degree is 4, the degree of polynomial is 4, which is the highest exponent and the variable of x. And the variable is x, the constant of course is 12. Another example, 3x squared yz plus 3 plus x cubed yz squared minus 2xyz plus 4xy squared z. This is multinomial. Bakit? 1, 2, 3, 4. Apat ang terms. And with variables of x, y, z, the highest sum of exponent 
2 plus 1 plus 1 is 4. 3 plus 1 plus 2 is 6. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is 3. 1 plus 2 plus 1 is 4. So the highest exponent of the four terms is 6, which is on the second term. Hence, the degree is 6 and there is no constant in this expression. So these are some examples. Now we can answer now learning task number two, letters only. You will match the verbal phrase in column A with mathematical phrase. And for letter B, identify the kind of algebraic expression determine the degree, the variables, and the constant. So type kung ito ba ay monomial, binomial, trinomial, or polynomial or multinomial. Variables. Ano ang degree of polynomials? The highest sum, uh, the highest exponent or sum of the exponents of uh, the variables in each term, and the constant of every given algebraic ex expression. Now, learning task three, express the following two mathematical symbol and write your answer in your answer sheet. So, number one, sub is X years old now. What is his age seven years from now? To change into a mathematical symbol. Then, Joanne is twice as old as her sister now. What is her age six years ago? Three, a square has a side of three X minus two. What is it? What is the perimeter? And number four, his income is 7x plus 6 every day. What is his total income in x day? So, I hope clear po ang, ang first part ng lesson about algebraic expression. Then you can uh, complete answering your learning task 1, learning task 2, and learning task 3. Now we will proceed to addition and subtraction of algebraic expression. Algebraic expression are said to be similar if the expression has the same literal coefficient or variables. So like fraction, pare parehas ang denominator, we cannot add or subtract unless the denominator are the same. The same also in polynomial, so algebraic expression. When we say similar, parehas sila ng variable, parehas ang exponent. Like 3x2 and x, they are similar. Then, while x and x squared are not similar, dahil magkaiba, yung isa ay um, exponent ay 1, ang isa ay exponent of 2. So, x and x squared are not similar term. In general, algebraic expressions are called polynomials. And you can only perform addition and subtraction to polynomials that are similar. Example of evaluating algebraic expression. Find the value of 3x plus 5 if x is equal to 2. So yung x, papalta natin ng 2. So, so uh, solution, 3x plus 5 is equal to 3 times 2 plus 5. So 3 times 2 is equal to 6 plus 5. So 6 plus 5 is equal to 11. So that is the value of 3x plus 5. So the value of the expression of 3x plus 5 is 11 when x is equal to 2. Another, find the value of 6ab minus c all over abc. If A is equal to 5 and B is equal to 3, C is equal to 10. So, 6 times 5, ang value ng A ay 5, times the value of B is 3, minus the value of C is 10, all over, multiply ang value ng A, which is 5, by 3, by 10. So, 6 times 5, 30, times 3 is 90, minus 10, all over, 5 times 3, 15 times 10 is equal to 150. 90 minus 10 is equal to 80 over 150. Simplify the fraction by dividing both numerator and denominator by 10. 
80 divided by 10 is equal to 8 and 150 divided by 10 is equal to 15. So we have rules in subtract, adding, and subtracting polynomials. Arrange the polynomial in descending or ascending order if possible. Pataas ang exponent o pababa ang exponent. Step number two, group terms which are similar or in terms of vertical. Then step number three, add or subtract the numerical coefficients. Applying the rules in subtracting and adding integers and copy the literal coefficients. Example, add the two given expression. We have 4x squared minus 2x plus 5 equals to 7 plus 5x cubed plus 4x minus x squared. So the highest exponent in this arrange in descending order. Let us consider as descending. Mauna si 5x squared. 5x cubed, combine similar terms. Then, followed by plus 4x squared, minus x squared, minus 2x, plus 4x, plus 5, plus 7. In-underline ko yung pagsasama-samahin. So, bring down 5x cubed. 4 x squared minus x squared 4 minus 1 i3. Kopyahin si x squared. Negative 2x plus 4x. Negative 2 plus 4 is positive 2. And kopyahin si x. Then, 5 plus 7 is equal to 12. So, this is the sum of the two algebraic expression. Another Okay, in learning task number one about addition and subtraction of polynomials, you need to evaluate the given expression or the given the value of the variables in numbers one to five. Then another example, subtract the two algebraic expression from. If it's been ito yung nasa taas, ito yung ating ipansu, ito ang isusubtract natin dito sa 4x y plus 5x minus 7y plus 3. So, ito yung xy minus 6x plus y plus 6 minus 4xy plus 5x minus 7y plus 3. So, ating, eh, ating nang change the sign of the subtrahend, bring down xy, bring down minus 6x, bring down plus y, bring down plus 6. So, Etong 4xy will become minus 4xy. Negative times positive is minus 5x. Negative times negative ay positive or plus 7y. Negative times positive is minus 3. Then we can compare now. Uh, combine similar terms xy to xy. Variable x to variable of x. Variable of y to variable of y. Constant to constant. So xy minus 4xy is 1 minus 4 negative 3 copy xy plus negative 6x minus 5x negative 6x plus negative 5x is negative 11 will become minus 11x plus y plus 7y 1 plus 7 is 8 8y then 6 minus 3 is 3 plus 3. Therefore, the total sum of the two al uh, the difference of the two algebraic expression or polynomials is negative 3xy minus 11x plus 8y plus 3. Or by vertical method, parehas to. Nasa taas ang xy minus 6x plus y plus 6. So, yung 4xy plus 5x minus 7y plus 3 change the subtrahend, the sign of the subtrahend, so will become positive minus. So, 1 minus 4i negative 3, kopyahin si xy. So, itong plus magiging negative, so pareha sila ng sign, ia-add 6 plus 5 ay 11, copy the sign of minus sign, and bring down the variable of x. 
Then, itong minus will become plus. So, parehas silang plus. So, add 1 plus 7 is 8. Plus 8, then bring down the variable of y. Then, itong plus will become minus sign. So, 6 plus negative 3 is 3. Plus 3. So, we get the same answer. Maalin sa dalawa ang pwede natin gamitin. Grouping by similar terms or in terms of vertical method. Kung saan tayo convenient, pwede natin i-apply. Then, add the following 5a to the fifth exponent minus 6a squared plus 8 plus, ito pang idadagdag another expression, another polynomial is 3a cubed plus a squared minus 8a. Then, 4a to the fourth plus a cubed minus 6a squared plus a minus 10. So, ito, kinumpleto lahat ng exponent. Yung wala sa given, automatic, ang kanyang literal coefficient is 0. Bring down 5a to the fifth. Use vertical method. Plus, ang a to the fourth wala, kaya lalagyan natin ng 0, a to the fourth. Wala ding a cubed, so plus 0, a cubed. Then, bring down minus 6a squared. Walang variable of a, so plus 0, a plus 8. So, the missing exponents are 4, 3, and 1. Then, the second is 3a cubed. Itatapat natin sa a cubed. Then, ang a squared ay sa a squared at ang minus 8a ay doon sa variable of a. The same doon sa lahat sa 4a to the 4th, sa a to the 4th column, at ang a cubed then minus 6a squared and variable of a and minus 10 for the constant. Then add, bring down 5a to the fifth. So 0 plus 4a to the fourth is 4, bring down a to the fourth variable. Then plus c at 3 plus 1i, 4a cubed. Negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5. Negative 5 plus negative 6 is negative 11 or minus 11a squared. 0 plus negative 8 is negative 8 and negative 8 plus a or 1 is negative 7a or minus 7. 8 plus negative 10, 10 minus 8 i 2 and the sign of 10 is minus, so minus 2. So this is the total sum of the given polynomials in number 3. Next, subtract 3x squared plus 8x minus 5 from the sum of x plus 4 and x squared minus 3. So, careful tayo dito dahil parang mayroong amali. Ano po? Ito po kasi ay positive. Wala naman pong dapat i-change. Dapat po ito ay positive din. So, Mag, uh, ipalagay na natin, gawin na natin siyang negative para magtama na dito. Sa x squared, ang x bring down. So, yung ito ay palta na lang natin ng sign para magtama na lang dito. So, we have x squared plus x minus 7. So, ito ang ating gagamitin as mean wind. At ito ang subtrahend. So, ito ang uh, mean when, ito ang subtrahend, then change the sign of the subtrahend, itong 3x cubed will become minus 3x cubed. Ang 8x will become minus 8x, at ang minus 5 will become plus 5. Combine similar terms, so the highest exponent is negative 3x cubed, mauna siya. Then, bring down x squared, variable of x, mayroong e x at saka mayroong uh, minus 8x. So, x minus 8x is minus 7x. Then, plus negative 5 plus 5. Kasi hindi naman dapat siya mabago. Binago na nga natin dito. Ito ay mali. Ito ay plus 5. So, negative 7 plus 5 is negative 2 or minus 2. So, the correct answer in number 4 is negative 3x cubed plus x squared minus 7x minus 2. So now we can answer the other learning tasks in addition and subtraction of polynomials. Letter A, in learning task 2, we need to evaluate algebraic expression. And letter B, we need to perform the indicated operation 
addition and subtraction. So, alin man sa method ang pwede natin gamitin, ay pwede we get the same answer if we eh, use the similar terms or combine similar terms or use the vertical term. And learning task three is solving the problems. So, read the problems and the problem the problems analyze and understand the given anong operation ano ang formula ng gagamitin ang tingin ko dito at observe natin ay evaluation we need to evaluate first para makuha natin yung correct answer sa tinatanong sa bawat question ng problem solving and learning task number three so i hope clear po ang uh, ating discussion for this week about the algebraic expression and addition and subtraction of polynomials. So, pwede pong balikan muli ang ating mga videos o ang ating videos para mas clear at mas maintindihan at masolve natin ng maayos ang ating mga learning tasks for this week. So, again, thank you uh, for watching. Keep safe and God bless everyone.